Oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another episode of the Spearhead Some Days podcast. It happened. I know. Where the fuck is my pen? Am I going to have to fucking start this shit again? Are you kidding me, cunt? Fuck. Oh, it's on my desk. Guys. <laughs> As you can see, nothing's changed, all right? You think I missed an episode to fucking learn a bit of professionalism, learn how to prepare before I start recording an episode? No, okay? Guys, unfortunately, after a historic run of consistent episodes of Spearhead Sundays, I did miss one episode. Now, before you complain... I don't want to see any fucking complaints in the comments. I don't want to see any complaints. You know what I want to see? I want to see a fucking well done, Lewis. Okay? Before, when I frequently missed episodes, yes, you could complain. You could say spearhead some days, whatever. This time, after 16 episodes in a fucking row, I want to see a little bit of well done, Spears. How about that? A little bit of good on you, mate. You tried valiant effort. 16 episodes, that's fucking 4, 8, 12, 16, 4 months. Not a single fucking missed episode. 4 months, I accrued one sick day. One sick day. Okay, so I am going to change the counter. Dude, I remember when I started this before, I said I, I'm going to commit to not missing a single episode for as long as I can. And 16 is a pretty good effort. Uh, I'm updating my whiteboard here. It did previously say 16, but I'm, I'm updating it to uh, a fat zero. Somebody sent me a video. A few people sent me videos of them updating their own whiteboards. And I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, it broke my little heart. It broke my fucking heart to see a bunch of uh, dedicated Spearhead Sundays fans who not only have listened to all of the episodes, but have kept their fucking whiteboards accurate. Broke my heart to see them update that to zero, okay? Uh, that being said, how much did you pay for it? None. Fuck you. Support me on Patreon. That's how you can complain. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, my bad. I, uh, I just got sick. I fucking, I think I worked myself to death. I got sick. Uh, I've been doing this whole streaming thing, trying to do the fucking partner grind. Jesus Christ, that is hard. I've been streaming on Twitch. My plan was to stream twice a week, fairly manageable, to hit partner, which is be verified and have someone help you out and all that kind of shit. You need to stream 12 days within 30 days, right? So I just thought that was 12 days in a month. That No, that's 12 days, and that, thir that 30 days changes as the days progress. So I thought I had a whole fucking month to do it. So I did like five in a row and then I had like, I needed to do one more stream. I left it for a few days. All of those early streams that I did fucking expired. It went from needing to do one more to needing to do five more. And then I kept having to fucking do them. And as I did them, as each day progressed, I lost one. I reckon I streamed about fucking 20 times in a month. Insane, but uh, I'm finally uh, back on track. I became eligible for partner. I sent my application in and I'm going back to streaming Monday and Wednesday, 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Australian time. If you don't know what time that is, Melbourne time, Google it, you dumb cunt. I am not your smartphone, okay? Uh, now, uh, yes, okay, I missed an episode. I'm allowed to have one fucking sick day in four months. I think we can all agree. I don't want to see complaints. I want to see some well done. Now, that being said, obviously, right, a lot of missed fucking, uh, one missed episode, that's a lot of, that's like 14 days without me screaming at you cunts. So I have a lot uh, backed up. One, the debates happened, okay? Can we all just agree, and I think, you know what, I don't think this is even controversial to say, the debates were a fucking letdown. I've said many times on this show, I was excited for the debates. I think we all were. I think we all wanted a repeat of Donald Trump versus Hillary at the debates. That shit was funny. There was, do you remember the memes? How good the fucking memes were? It was hilarious. He was threatening to send her to prison. He was fucking owning her, joking, having fun. Just like dunking on it. It was like a it was like a roast. It was the most immature shit I've ever seen, and it was on the world stage. It was incredible. That's why he won. It was fun. It was funny. We didn't see any of that shit, Trump v. Biden. Neither of them were funny. They were both boring. They just interrupted each other. It sucked. Didn't they didn't even interrupt each other in a funny way. Biden didn't make fun of his hair. 
Trump didn't say he's old. I was looking so forward to those debates. When Trump started saying in press conferences that Joe Biden doesn't know he's alive, I start, I pissed myself and thought these debates are going to be fucking fire. Instead, they just start bickering. Boring. I, I got no dog in the fight here. I don't give a fuck who wins. So can you at least make it entertaining for me? Please be funny. That's why Trump won. Now I'm not sure if he's going to win. He's not being entertaining enough, you know? I think he'll I I think that whoever the fuck wins, it's going to be a huge surprise. Because my thoughts kind of were, oh, it seems to be 2016 in replay, right? Where it looked it was like, oh, 100% sure Hillary was going to win and the media was like, Hillary's definitely winning and all the projections were like, man, we can predict with a 110% certainty that Hillary will win. And then Trump won and was like, was that out of a thousand you dumb cunts? Right? Uh and that's what looked like what was happening, but then coronavirus, bro, wild card. How funny is Trump getting coronavirus? That's just hilarious, right? It's not good. I'm not celebrating an old man getting a disease. I saw a lot of fucking celebrities going, oh, this is good. Really? Is it good? Is it good that an old man has a deadly disease? Is that a good thing? Huh? Chrissy Teigen? Is that something that's worth celebrating, Alyssa Milano? I don't think it is, all right? Is the, the leader of the free world dying a good thing? even for the people who disagree with him, I don't think that's good. Let me tell you what happens when Trump dies. Stock market crashes, right? Whole massive recession, power vacuum, revolution, Russia takes over. In that order. <laughs> the Russia taking over is a bit of a meme, but like it's, it's objectively not a good thing to have the president die in office. It's not fucking good right uh for anybody but it's just weird seeing people celebrate it because you know it sucks he's an old man he literally could die he's in all of the risk factors you know he's old he's obese but i love how quickly he recovered like that's so fucking trump just leaving the hospital and he's definitely not cured you know what i mean like it doesn't matter how good the drugs are doesn't matter how good the doctors are it is literally scientifically impossible to recover from covid in three days you can feel better you can like uh functionally be better but you're still fucking contagious right you've still got it you can like muscle through the symptoms trump with coronavirus is like me when i have the flu right i'm like i'm not sick i'm going back to work and i do a podcast and everyone goes whoa lewis you look like shit i'm fine i can say cut it's all good imagine that but in the, but i'm the president and i'm surrounded by cunts every day just giving it to them that is awesome. That's entertaining. That's what I want to see. Keep it up. That's That keeps the, the season a little bit entertaining. It was getting a bit boring. When I saw the debates, I was like, oh, this fucking season sucks. You know, the writers have, have fucked it. They, 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 they fuck with the formula. It was good last season. This season, it's kind of boring. They tried to switch it up. They should have just kept with Trump being insane and uh and and biden being old and that being funny right but instead uh coronavirus came around and now i'm like i'm i'm enthralled i'm fucking wrapped with this it's a really good development and it's uh really up the entertainment value i love that the guy is like after three days the funniest shit about this is is he's right back to work yeah and uh i had a look at the drugs that he's on and one of the side effects for the steroid that he's on is mania. If you don't know what mania is, it's basically like, oh, fuck yeah, I'm the best. I can do anything. This is great. It's like you're manic. You're like, fuck yeah, this is good. And he goes on Twitter and he goes, I feel, direct quote, I feel the best I have in 20 years. Cunt. Even if you came back to zero, you shouldn't be feeling better than you have in 20 years. We have a president, or you guys, America has a president who's literally high. He's off his head, he's manic, and he's running the country. That's awesome, right? I'm not going to be one of those comedians that tells you, orange man, bad, vote him out. Having a high president is bad. I'm, I'm team chaos here, and I'm telling you unequivocally, my honest opinion is that is funny. 
and that's all I care about. Is that a good gauge to judge my character? Yes. Does that judgment of my character end favorably for me? Probably no. Should you vote based on who do you think is the funniest candidate? I would say no. But as someone who has no dog in the fight, if that country blows up, I don't care. We're isolated from that shit. We're going we're gonna to get taken over by China anyway. When the impending war comes over, they're not going to help us. We're too far away. We're fucked, right? I think it's funny. And that's all I care about. My job is to be funny. You know, I'm like I'm like those coal miners. They know they're destroying the planet, but it puts food on the table, so they're voting for Trump. <laughs> you know? And that's fine. I'm I care about what's funny. I you know what? This coronavirus has has him getting COVID and and dropping the ball with COVID. Has, has completely fucked my prediction. Pre-COVID, Trump wins easy. Easy. Now, I don't know. I don't know. And then he kind of fumbled that condemning the racism bit. He gave he gave a lot of ammo to the opposition there. Now, like, we want you to condemn white supremacy. Who? Who do you want me co- to condemn? Uh, these guys. Stand, stand down and stand by. You fucked it, bro. All you have to do is, yeah, I don't like him. What, why do you keep asking me this? That's all he has to do. I think, I, I get what he was trying to do where he was like, oh, he was acting like it was a gotcha question and he was trying to get more information out of them. Uh, but the easiest thing I think to do is just go, yes, of course, stupid. Because that makes the media, if they're painting, trying to paint him to be a racist... The thing that makes the media dumbest is by going, I've already said this, dummy. Of course I condemn them. How many times are you going to ask me? That is such a stronger position than, are you trying to trap me? Which group specifically and why? They said white supremacists. You go, yeah, I don't like them. Of course. Duh. Surely that's the 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 biggest own. I feel like he's he hates the media so much That he never wants, he views every question as a gotcha, which to be honest, when you're Trump and it's the media, it kind of is. But he fucks up there where he's like, where they go, do you condemn white supremacy? And he gets into the specifics of it. It's like, dude, keep it blanket because then you don't have to fucking accidentally condemn the wrong group. If you go and look, I'm not not a fan of the Proud Boys, but if you go, oh, fucking... Uh, will you condemn, if they go, will you condemn white supremacy? And he goes, well, which group specifically? And then they list a group and then you start getting into the nitty gritty of the group. All you do is either impress or disappoint that specific group. And then most of the country goes, well, wait, hang on. He didn't say white supremacy. He's just talking about this group. So he's okay with white supremacy. Just go, don't ask for specifics. Just go, nah, don't like racism. Next. Did you know Joe Biden can't stay alive by the end of his term? I feel like, why isn't that like their strongest anti-Biden stance? Like, why don't they just run an ad that just says the average life expectancy in America is 77? And that's it. <laughs> that's the whole ad. It just goes, this is their whole, this, if I ran Trump's campaign, this is my ad. Joe Biden will die soon. Authorized by Donald Trump. That's it. Joe Biden will not be alive in three years. Authorized by Donald Trump. Why don't they do it? Joe Biden is a corpse. Why don't they just do that? Surely that's easy. I don't want to talk about politics the whole time. I just think it's very funny. I saw the vice presidential debates were on. Who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck? It's like, that shit's like, like, who watches the Paralympics? Of course you have to have the Paralympics, but who's excited about it? You know? Like, yes, we. it's obvious we must have the Paralympics. It would be an awful thing for our society not to hold the Paralympics. But also, who's watching it? When the Olympics are on, I don't give a fuck about cunts with one leg. I'm sorry. It's amazing. It's incredible. I cannot believe they've made it that far, but I'm not going to watch it. You know, that's that's the vice presidential debates. It's the Paralympics. Cool. All right. You made it that far. 
Did you make it this far? No, I don't care. Right? And Twitter, those debates on Twitter, that's the Special Olympics. You look at it and you go, you cunts are fucking retarded. <laughs> that's what it is. The presidential debates is the Olympics. The vice presidential debates is the Paralympics. And the Twitter debates is retarded. <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble for that. Support me on Patreon, guys. Um, what else are we talking about here? I hope you guys have had a good week. Uh, I have. Uh, I, I took, a, took a day off. It was desperately needed. I, I need to fucking tone it down uh, and, and just focus on, focus on what's important. Me, family, walks in the park. Um, dude, I don't think... All right, time to get in my corona clairvoyancy thing. I don't think they're going to lift the restrictions when... Like, well, what is it, October 17? In Melbourne, I don't think they're going to be lifted. We've had too many cases. Uh, there's dumb cunts in Frankston that keep going to shopping centres. Why is Chadston open? The biggest shopping centre in the Southern Hemisphere? Hey, guys, why is it open? Is does it Does it need to be open? Sure, have the supermarket and the chemist there open. Why is anything else open? I'm sorry, Subway. You're not essential, all right? Fucking Ireland or whatever the fuck. Scotland just said that your bread is legally cake. You're not essential clothes. Why the fuck is the biggest shopping center in the Southern Hemisphere open? And you know, it's next to a COVID testing site. So all of these fucking dumb cunts with symptoms get tested, and then they go, oh, well, while I wait for the results, I might as well get a cappuccino from Gloria Jeans. Shut it down. (laughs) What about small business? That's not a small business. It's literally the biggest business in the world. Southern Hemisphere. Shut it down, bro. Don't need it. Keep the supermarket, keep the chemist, close the rest of those cunts down. I can't tell you how many fucking times I've read stories about dumb cunts getting infected at Chanston. Let's be honest, if you get infected at Chanston, you deserve it. That's why you're there. Like, is That must be why you're there, it's just to get COVID. What the fuck else do you desperately need that you couldn't get online that you have to get it from Chatty? COVID? I assume so. That's the only thing you can't get online, but you have to get at a soup at a fucking shopping center. COVID. I need new jeans. Hey, internet, cunt. What if I want to try them on? Free returns, dumbass. Oh, but I want a deadly disease. Well, go, by all means, go to Chanston. Breathe. Oh fuck. I don't know. I don't think they're gonna. I don't think they're gonna lift restrictions. Um, which is a bummer because we were fucking Luke and I and all the boys that help out with the show. We were so excited to get back in here in the studio and make some fucking content, but I do not think they are going to be lifted, which is a shame. Um, but maybe it will down the line. I don't know. I think they have to give us something because that's the thing that that I, I think I honestly think, and I'm, I'm someone who's very I'm pro lockdown. I think they've done great shit. They've definitely brought the cases down. It's fucking working. The side effects are bad, but it is better than having what America has, which is just death everywhere, right? Uh, and it's it's the type of thing where where I believe you should just shut it the fuck down, get rid of it, and if that doesn't work, give up. That's that's my idea. If this doesn't work, do this properly so that we never have to do it again. Because you don't want what America has, where they fucked up the start and now they're trying to pull it back. That's impossible. They just have to fucking open. They can't beat it. It's done. Right? So I'm kind of of the opinion, like New Zealand and Perth, shut, the, shut it the fuck down, beat it at the start, and if it doesn't work, and, and then you open and it works, or you open and it doesn't work and you have to fucking, that's it. So that's what I think we need to do here. Um, and it fucking sucks, but let's be honest, what were you going to do anyway before December? You had any, any fucking things? Yes, I, I know. I'm, I had a lot of shit I wanted to do. I miss stand-up so much. I really want to tell a horrific joke to like a mum and watch her face drop. I miss that so much. I've, I've, I don't know what the sound of laughter is now. 
the the closest thing I get to making an audience laugh is saying something fucked on Twitch and having six people remind me that violates the terms of service with a little poggers emoji. And look, it's not it's not it's not a standing ovation, but fuck, I'll take it. I'm like I'm like a I'm like a heroin junkie on boop in prison. It's like fuck, it's not what I wanted, but it's close enough. It'll keep me sedated for now. But if that runs out, it's all over. Um Twitch has been fucking sick. I had uh I had the fun the most fun I've ever had streaming uh two couple of days ago from when you listen if you listen on Patreon, it was a couple of days ago, because you get it early on Patreon and you get a bonus episode every single week, except for the weeks where I miss an episode because I'm sick. Sorry about that. You're allowed to complain. You gave me a few bucks. Um uh, I had the, had the most fun fucking stream of playing Fall Guys. If you don't know, it's like those, um, it's like it's basically like those game shows where it's an obstacle course, but it's a video game, right? You got to get to the end. There's 60 people at the start, and then people start dropping out and dropping out, and there's, there can only be one winner, right? Who gets to the end of everything and then grabs a crown. Now, uh, season one of Fall Guys was ending. Uh, and I didn't realize that uh, you couldn't get any of the... They, they were deleting like all season one is what I believe is happening. So I thought, fuck, I've never gotten a crown before. Been playing the game for 30 hours, never had a single win. I need to get a win before season two starts. And season two has started now, right? So I started up a stream at uh, 5.30 and I said, you know what? I'm not stopping until I get a win. Now, I, I was thinking that, yeah, four hours... I'll get a win. I've only ever played the game on stream for an hour and a half. Surely I'll get a win. Uh, guys, I streamed for eight and a half hours. I was up until 3 a.m. playing a children's video game trying to win. I am so fucking shit at that game. I think, I don't know, I live in two realities. I'm a great gamer unless I'm streaming. I'm fucking awesome at games unless I'm streaming. I'll fucking carry a whole team in Warzone almost to the end and I'll get let down by my teammates, right? Unless I'm streaming. I'll have the best round ever in fucking Fall Guys unless I'm live. I'll kill it in Left 4 Dead 2, highest on the scoreboard, both teams make it to the end, kill the survivors, no worries, unless I'm streaming. I think it's because I value entertaining cunts over being having mad skills, right? My, my whole thing is... I can't be better than the elite sports gamers, but I can be funnier. Uh, so that's kind of my thing. So I started this game and I'm like, I'm not stopping until I get a win. And the first three hours, I was doing pretty good. I kept making it to the finals, but then I kept choking. I have a real issue with choking. I'm a serial choker. Ladies, <laughs> I'm a serial choker, right? Jeffrey Dahmer was as well, inspired by the man himself. Um... So I kept choking and, and I kept fucking it up. And, but the problem with that's fine. But the problem with that was the longer I played, I got six hours in and I started to get tired and sloppy and unmotivated. Had no food, nothing. I was losing faith. I was trying to stay motivated. I'm looking at these bright screens and behind them even brighter lights. I start fumbling and fucking up. I start dying to shit I shouldn't die to. And I just think, you know... I'm actually, the longer I play the game, the worse I get, so I need to switch up the strategy. So uh, I said before, 60 people can join a game. 50 or 60 people, I don't know how it is, right? So 60 cunts can join a game, uh, but it's no, there, there is no teams. It's just, it's just one, all, all for each other, right? It's one, on, it's one man from, every man for himself. I can't even speak English. That's how much I've been streaming recently, right? Every man for himself type shit. Uh, you win at all costs. So I thought, well, I've got about 300 people viewing my fucking stream here at midnight. There can't be that many people actually playing the game. So I encouraged all of my viewers to start joining games at the same time as me. I encouraged them all to go bright green, the least popular color, so that we could all identify each other. And my strategy was to intentionally get about every person who was viewing my stream to fuck with everybody else and take them down and secure the win. I decided to cheat my way to the fucking finals and it is going to be the most fun I have ever had streaming, dude. I cannot tell you, as the scam king, right, 
I can't tell you how proud I was to try and literally get a crown by scamming it, thus crowning myself once and for all the scam king, right? It, most exciting streaming I've ever done. The people were playing with me, fucking with other people. Cunts must have been so fucking confused. People who were not fans of me, who were just trying to have a nice game of Fall Guys, right? To join a game and see half the fucking lobby all wearing the same outfit and when it goes three, two, one, go, instead of going forwards, immediately swarming on anyone who isn't green to sabotage them and basically kamikaze themselves out of the fucking game, right? Even though that was an incredible strategy, I still didn't get a win for another two hours. It's now 1.30 in the fucking morning, right? 1.30. Two in the morning. My girlfriend is fuming, right? I told her I would stream for two hours. I started at five. It's now two in the morning. I stream next to the bedroom. She can't sleep. Fuming, and rightfully so, right? Then other people who are watching my stream decide it would be funny to dress up as hot dogs and instead of assisting me, try to sabotage me. So every fucking game, I got 30 green allies and about three hot dogs. The allies are swarming on every other player. I'm trying to get to the end of the level, being chased by three cunts in hot dog costumes, trying to take me down and themselves with me, right? So then we have to change strategy. I start Get, uh, getting everyone to ignore the other people in the game, I run to the end of the level. We now have 30 green army soldiers chasing after three cunts in hot dog costumes, holding them down, tackling them out of the fucking level, pushing them into barriers, running them over to the edge, and I'm trying to get to the end of the fucking level while calling out orders. I'm so terrible at this point. I've been playing for like fucking seven hours, all of my viewers are fresh as fuck, they get to the end before me, problem with that, there's a limit on how many people can qualify, so I start losing to my own teammates, so I start having to get all of my green soldiers to go all the way to the end of the level, and then wait for me to cross the finish line, and then they can cross, it was the most chaotic gameplay I've ever been in, and it is not how Fall Guys is meant to be played, but I fucking tell you, man, that was enhanced gameplay. That's the most fun I've ever had playing a game. That was the best stream we've ever done. I can't wait to do more of that shit. Cannot wait for season two now. Make sure you catch me on Twitch. We finally get to the the, the round, right? I literally say I'm I'm at it's it's 2:40 in the morning. My girlfriend came in from the bedroom with the blanket and the pillows and lay on the floor to make very fucking clear she cannot sleep because of me and I must end it soon. And I and I also wagered a bet. I said, if I don't fucking get a win tonight, if I end the stream before I get a win, I'm going to donate 50 subs to my own stream. $450 I found out that cost. I didn't know it was that expensive. Fuck, right? So now... Not only am I playing for, I, I have to choose between the respect of my listeners and $450 saved or being single and losing $450. It's a hard choice. So I finally get to the end. My relationship is crumbling. My bank account is on the fucking line. I couldn't afford $450. I just said it. I just said 50 subs. 50 doesn't sound like a big number. Until you find out, I literally went, oh, if I don't get a win, I'm going to give 50 subs to the channel. And everyone went, oh my God, that's crazy. And I thought, geez, they're a bit excited. Calm down. It's only 50 subs. And then three people wrote, that's $450, man. That's amazing. And I thought, fuck, I can't afford that. <laughs> I start panicking. $450. I, to give you context, I only pay myself $400 a week. I was going to go up to 500, two has got cancelled, I gave myself a fucking demotion. I'm only on jacket money here, or jeans money. What was it? Someone remind me in the comments. I think it's jeans money. Right? So I'm, I'm playing, for, I'm, I'm, I'm either, you know, losing my girlfriend or losing $450. And let me tell you, that's a tough choice. I'm sorry to tell you ladies, tough choice. I get to the end of it. 
And I go, I'm fucked. I'm tired. I'm playing badly. Luke Kidgel fucking joined me on the stream just to keep my spirits up. He sucks at the game too. He starts flagging. He played with me for like two hours. The viewers are slowly dwindling. It's almost fucking three in the morning. People start dropping off. I go from 350 all the way down to 200 something. We're all dropping like flies. The army becomes smaller. The people playing with me start to go to bed. I start getting shit talked. One guy says, if you get a win, I'll eat a bar of soap. One guy says, there's no way you're getting a win. Daniel Tocknell's in the stream. He's encouraging me, but it's not enough. I finally say, you know what? I'm midway through a round, a game, and I go, ah, the next game is going to be my last game, and then I'm giving up. Everyone goes, half the stream is, is fucking angry. The other half is relieved. They go, thank fuck, I am tired. I had like six cunts watch the whole eight hours. What are they doing with their lives? Right? Second last game. I'm like, fuck this, I'm out. I only have about 15 green soldiers at the start of the game. We get through the level. I by There's four stages. By the final stage, I lose everyone except for one soldier. I'm with one guy. I'm competing against 12 other people in the hardest, most skill-based level to get to the end and grab a crown, right? And I only have one ally. The round starts. I move forward and immediately fuck up and fall over. I'm coming last. There are six cunts ahead of me, six cunts behind me. I catch up a little bit. I'm in the middle. And then all of a sudden... Balls start smacking them out of the way, and I pull out to second place. Me and my green soldier. I am losing to my own ally. My ally is in front of me, right? And then we get to the very, very last part where all you got to do is walk up a ramp and grab the crown, right? That's it. It's just forwards, jump, grab, easy win. Problem is, my soldier is in front of me. I'm in third place. There's another guy behind my soldier in front of me. And as I'm running up the ramp and I think, oh, fuck, this guy's going to betray me and grab the crown because it will be funny. That loyal motherfucker with the win in his grasp, probably his first win. Not many people win this fucking game. It's very unlikely to win. But that loyal soldier of spears turns around, grabs the guy in front of me, tackles him to the ground, losing the game for himself and the other guy, definitely causing an outburst of rage on the other end of that cunt's keyboard. What the fuck? Why would you do that? And then I move past those two, wrestling to the death, up the ramp, past the swinging hammer, jump over the edge and grab the fucking crown. And Dear God, it was the most satisfactory win I've ever had in my fucking life. And I won the Australian Podcast Awards. That's got to be the biggest scam win I've ever had in my fucking life. Rigged the whole game against everyone except me. I had uh, my fucking girlfriend's little brother message me. He said he turned on Fall Guys on PC at midnight. Coincidentally, didn't know I was streaming. Just wanted to play Fall Guys. He joins a game that where it's team-based, right? He's on yellow team. Uh, he didn't know this, but I was on blue team. We have to push a ball to the end of the fucking level. The game starts. My team pulls into first place. His team starts moving the ball backwards because I commanded them to throw the game so I could get the win. I was negatively affecting the experience of about 40 other cunts for my own benefit. And I won. I was only rewarded for it. It was the best stream I've ever done. Incredible scenes. So if you want to see more of that, I stream uh, every Monday and Wednesday on Twitch, 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Melbourne time. Google that shit. Figure it out for yourself. How long have we been going here? i got to check. One second. Only half an hour. That's all right. Oh, that's another thing about uh, fucking Twitch. Unfortunately, guys, uh, I, uh, I, I, as you know, I made a big call. I said, if I can get a thousand subs on Twitch, uh, I'll dye my hair blue. Uh, and last week on stream, I unfortunately hit 1,000 subs. And I will be dyeing my hair blue. Jasmine is doing the honors. Uh, I will be getting a haircut beforehand. 
And uh, I've been told that blue hair dye, when done properly, if you bleach your hair and then dye it blue, which is what I will be doing, apparently that will last for about eight months. So I've uh, completely fucked uh, 2021 already. Uh, so, you know, a lot of people were, were looking forward to 2021 being a blast. And I'm sure for you guys, everyone who's a fan of me, who likes watching my videos and the podcast and seeing me stream and seeing me perform live, I'm sure that all of you are going to have a great and incredible 2021 laughing at me. Me, it's going to be awful. Dude, do you realize... That in 2021, it's very likely I'm going to have blue hair and braces for the whole fucking year. I'm, I'm going to go back to a fucking scene kid from 2011. I'm going to have blue hair and braces? Fuck, I'm going to be the most unfuckable cunt on earth. No one's going to want to go near me. My viewership's going to go down. I might become a better gamer. That seems to be the secret, have stupid hair. But I'm going to be the most unfuckable cunt on earth, which also ironically makes you an even better gamer. If you can't get pussy, guess what? I just got better at Counter-Strike. Pussy, never heard of it. AK-47 recoil, nailed it. <laughs> Bro, it's going to be bad. But, you, but also, dude, the glow up is going to be next level insane. When my hair changes back from blue to brown... And when I take the braces off, I got perfect teeth, none of this overlapping shit, and they install my new jaw. Dude, I'm going to be the most fuckable guy ever. I'm going to look so fucking sexy, it's going to be over for you. I'm going to have to get new cameras. You know, cameras that can handle the sheer radiance of my handsomeness. I'm going to be the most attractive comedian in the world. Six foot eight with a jawline literally from the gods installed by beauty science cosmetic experts. I'll look well rested. I'll finally be sleeping. You know, that's why I was sick. Mike, I got a little bit sick, which, you know, blocks your nose and everything. And my girl said for, for like four days in a row, I was having the most terrible fucking sleep apnea ever. It's getting worse for sure. I woke up when I, the day I was supposed to do the podcast, uh, which was like a Friday, and I, I felt so fucked. I was like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Woke up on Saturday, felt even worse. I'll do it tomorrow. Woke up on Sunday, I felt like I had like two hours sleep over the last three days, and I go, f I go to Jazz. I'm like, fuck, it feels like I haven't slept. And she goes, oh, yeah, you've been suffocating in your sleep. Why didn't you tell me? She goes, oh, it's just normal for me now. It's not, it's not freaky or special or anything. That's how I'm. That's how I'm gonna go. I know it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be on my on my back going. <coughs> this is literally what I sound like, by the way. <coughs> I'll die, and Jazz will go. Oh, <sighs> sleep apnea again, and she'll roll over, and that will be the only thing I hear. Yeah, th the last thing I ever hear will be shush, roll over, and then she'll face the other way, and then I'll just fucking slowly fade away into the darkness. Because with all of the jokes I'm telling, I'm not going to see a light at the end of the tunnel. I might. It might I, actually, I will. It's just going to be fucking... The light's going to be fire. <laughs> Brimstone. <laughs> so, um, I'm still waiting on, on, uh, on the sleep apnea update. I'm still waiting on a sleep study so they can prove that I have sleep apnea. I would have thought the fucking recording I showed the... Uh, the mouth and throat doctor that that made him shocked would be enough, but apparently I need to do a sleep study, and because of the uh, the socialized healthcare, there is a big waiting list. I think I might just have to go private with it. Although I imagine paying a doctor to watch you sleep for fucking eight hours is insanely expensive. At least I saved a bit of money not gifting out fifty subs. I need to do my research on that. That's so funny to me. Whenever I see the argument that Americans who make oh socialized healthcare is very slow it's like yeah but one it's free so if you don't have money that's a good option it's a better option than dying sitting in a waiting line is better than dying or you can go private you can have both the fucking discourse is so poisoned that people don't even realize a hybrid of two ideas is usually the best solution you know Right-wing people don't have the answers to everything. Left-wing people don't have the answers to everything. The solution is almost always best ideas from this crazy person and the best ideas from that crazy person, you know? I don't know. I'm going to get off fucking politics. 
because I don't know anything about it and I just want to be funny. I've stopped looking at the news. It's making me go insane. Dude, I was I was looking at um I've been wanting like a, a little a little speaker, like a wireless speaker in my office so I can listen to music while I edit. Uh and it doesn't like conflict or anything. And um for fuck's sake. Wireless speakers, hey, wireless speaker companies, stop putting microphones in your fucking speakers. I don't want to spy in my house. At first I thought, oh, I just need to buy like a Sonos or a fucking wireless thing that sounds good. I just need to avoid Alexa. I need to avoid Google Home. I need to avoid the Apple whatever the fuck, right? I don't want any of those smart speaker spyware assistants that record everything you say in your house literally i don't want any of that fucking shit the minute i found out about that court case where they released the audio recordings in that cunt's house it was a murder case so the guy was a piece of shit but still they fucking took the recordings that a smart speaker made inside the dude's house and made it as admissible evidence in court it's over Never get one. Never get one of those fucking things. Oh, but you have one in your phone. Uh, yeah, okay. The phone needs a microphone because that's what a phone is. Can't. I. I don't want. I don't want those. I don't want one of those smart speakers. I just can't fucking have it. I don't trust it, and I don't want to give them more money. I don't want to encourage it. I'm paranoid. Say what you will. I also think it's an unnecessary feature. How about that? Okay. Oh, you're just being parent. Hey, I don't need a speaker. To have a microphone, I'll press a button. Hey, but how about that? I'll press play. Oh, but what about going, hey, Alexa, play play Gucci Gang by Lil Pump. Do you think I want to say that shit out loud? No. I'll, I'll, I'll look it up in shame and fucking type it into my phone and then press play. That's all the convenience I need. Okay, I don't need more convenience than that. Yeah? It's like, I, I think we've, we've reached... Peak convenience. Can we stop making things better and more convenient? It's destroying the planet. It's destroying the planet and and it's destroying our brains. Oh, look how convenient it is to send out tweets in 280 characters or less. Oh, cool. Guess what you did? You destroyed the planet. It's over now. People thought social media would be better if you said less things. Nah. -uh. Now we're all out here misrepresenting each other, doxing and fucking calling everyone a racist and a rapist. It's over. This course is finished. <laughs> I don't want a microphone in anything that isn't a microphone. Can we, can we agree on that? I don't need an audio recorder in a thing whose primary function is not recording my voice. Phone? Yes. Microphone? Yes. Yes. Camera? Sure. Speaker? Fridge? Computer? No. I don't need it. Get it out of here. Maybe a computer. It's for communication. I don't know. I spent... I'm, I'm yelling about this because I spent like fucking four hours looking at like smart speakers, not smart, so looking at wireless speakers that didn't look like shit, had good sound quality, weren't $10,000 and didn't have a fucking spy sitting in it. I, I was looking at the Sonos ones. I'm like, oh, that's that's like good quality because I want them all to link up to my phone, right? That's my thing because I have I have like a like a little Wonder Boom sound fucking thing, but it's annoying to use because you have to connect to it every time. I want something that's just in one spot, permanently, always connected. It works on fucking Spotify. And if I get another one for other rooms in the house, it can just add to the network. And then I can be like, oh, play this song in the kitchen, play that in the office. And it's something I can add to with time instead of fucking spending a million dollars all at once or buying one thing and then needing to upgrade later. That, that's, that, that was my idea. But none of those, all of those Sonos ones, the new ones have the fucking spy in it. They're like, great news, guys. We partnered with Amazon to put Alexa in it. That's not good news. You put a fucking spy that not even you control in your own fucking tech. At least Amazon owns Alexa. They can say, oi, rein it in, bitch. You don't fucking own that tech. You just put it in there. Like, look how convenient that is. Now, instead of typing in your phone, you go, hey, Alexa, shut up. Fuck that bitch. I don't want her in my speaker. She's going to be in my fridge. I know it for sure. That's the end goal. 
for Jeff Bezos is put Alexa and everything. There's going to be an Alexa in my girlfriend's vibrator next. Hey, Alexa, make her calm. <laughs> and I'll just sit there. That's too much convenience. I don't need that. There'll be a microphone in it. One day, you know, 60 years later when the Amazon, when the Alexa servers get hacked, it'll get released on Twitter. Is this how you talk to your girlfriend? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, man. I hope I hope this episode is entertaining. When it, I feel like whenever I, whenever I miss an episode, I have too many things to say and then, I, and, and then I go on tangents and then they keep coming back to whatever pissed me off the most this week, which was uh, evidently this episode, the debates weren't as funny as I thought they were going to be. So I'm starting to yell about America in general. Be more entertaining. Crumble in a funny way, not in a sad and terrifying way. <laughs> um... Let's, uh, let's get into miscellaneous bit at the end here. Uh, just before I do, quick little Patreon plug. If you want to join the Discord server, if you want to help me out, especially due to these, due to these, in these tough times, uh, and help me fucking pay all the people that are, that are helping out put the content out, Patreon's the best way to do that. Really supports me. Uh, we've had no fucking sponsorship for ages. We had one sponsorship, and that's up in the air. We're talking to them. I don't know when or if they're going to come back. I'm trying to fucking lock it in, but uh, their, their name will go unspoken until, they, until or if if they return uh but uh what i really like more than relying on fucking brands is uh you know relying on you guys in a relationship that we have so if you get value out of this show or any of the content that i do whether it's streaming or youtube or anything like that um support me on patreon and you get an extra episode of spearhead sundays every single week uh delivered straight to you um, and uh, you get access to the Discord server and all that kind of bullshit, and uh, you help out me and the people that I help out, uh, and uh, more content for you. Gives us a budget, it's great, and I highly recommend you get on it, because it's fucking fun. Right, now, with that, uh, it's time to get into miscellaneous bit at the end of the podcast. Um, so, uh, if you don't know, this is the worst part of the podcast, uh, and uh, it's the part where I answer questions sent in for uh, for uh, by listeners. Sorry, I'm just t- picking one. There's a bunch of new ones that I haven't seen. Uh, and it's where I answer life advice. If you have a story, you need some life advice. You think anything anything that you think I would find entertaining or funny, send it into the podcast at loosebeers.com. Um, all right, a good day for ten bucks. Hey, Lewis. My name is Wes, and I love your content. I'm from Mornington, so close to you, so close, <laughs> so close to you, and looking for some life advice. Being too young, to, too young to drive, uh, and you, being too young to drive, I was looking for a good place for a date, but for a minimal budget. Because of COVID, I haven't been able to take her out on a good date, and because of COVID, I can't get a job to make money. I need a good place in Mornington or Frankston where I could take her on a good date. Since it's been a long time, I want it to be special. She's under 18, like me, thank God. Um, So, and I need some advice on what to do for less than $10. Uh, Honestly, bro, you can't really go on a date for 10 bucks. Like, like, like going to the, like restaurants are out, food other than fish and chips is out. So, you know, you could go to a fucking, go to the beach and have fish and chips, but I don't know what the fuck you can do that's uh, that's allowed in COVID restrictions. You could have cyber sex on Zoom. <laughs> you know? Zoom's free. Uh, look, I, I don't think there's anything you can do for 10 bucks, and that is also COVID safe. You can't go to any restaurants. The, if I had 10 bucks and restrictions were lifted... I would go beach, fish and chips after to share, or fish and chips beforehand. That's ten. That's easy. Ten bucks, a few bucks on fish, chips, sit together on the beach, go for a swim before or after, whatever your fancy is. That's my ten buck date near Frankston Beach. Uh, but I'm really new to this area, and I moved in, and then I got locked down. So I literally haven't seen anything 
five kilometers further away from my house. So I don't know what to tell you, bro. I would do the beach uh, or I would just buy her flowers. You can get flowers for less than 10 bucks. I guarantee you not many kids under 18 are buying their girlfriend's flowers. They don't think of that shit. They think it's an it's an adult thing. You get a girl under 18 flowers, she'll, she'll love that. I will say... Uh, don't do that if you're over 18. You know, that's that's a little bit that's a little bit Joe Biden, you know? I wouldn't be going there. Isn't it funny how I could have said that's a little bit Joe Biden or that's a little bit Donald Trump and the joke still works? Congratulations, America. Great system. Um Yeah, I I dude, beach, fish and chips, 10 buck day, easy. Or just uh you know, go to her house, give her flowers, go to a park. Organized to meet at a park is a good one. Meet at the fucking park of a duck park. Feed the ducks oats, not bread. Bread bad for ducks. Feed them oats, good for ducks. Oats, a dollar. Flowers, eight bucks. Bang. Awesome day. You feed the ducks together. You surprise her with flowers at the park. Romantic as hell. Nature, nice weather. That's your shit. You need to save money on a date. Nature is your friend. Bitches love nature. Just spend time with her, dude. Or uh, if you can't see each other, I don't know what, I don't know what, I mean, I know what restrictions are like. I don't know if you can do, if you can't do shit, right? Just do, watch Netflix together uh, over the phone. Load up Netflix Party. It's an app on Google Chrome. It syncs up your Netflix viewing session to the same time. Put on uh, headphones be on the phone to each other or be on Zoom together so the sound comes through both things and watch a show at the same time and talk. Have a have a FaceTime up or whatever. That works too. That's free. Uh, that's, there, there's three great dates for you, bro. Um, all right. Where are we? Okay. Being lanky and talking shit with the lads. Hey Lewis, I thought you would be a good you'd be good to ask about being tall. You have li- tall and lanky. You've literally come to the perfect person. I'm not nearly as tall as you, but still very far above average. Uh, isn't that funny? Way above average, nowhere near as tall as me. I'm a genetic freak. Uh, when I talk to people, I'm confident and all, but I just don't know what to do with my body, like my arms and shit. And I get really self-conscious about it, even though it's stupid. I just don't know how to stand normally when I talk to people, especially adults, because I'm usually doing something when I talk to friends or family, and I'm just more confident around them. I'm also super shit at being, at being quite anything will help. I'm also, I am also super shit at being quite anything. Being quiet? Is that what you're trying to say? I think you're also super shit at spelling, bro. I'm also super shit at being quiet. Anything will help. I'm just... Dude, I don't know what the fuck you've written in this last bit. I have no idea what the second half of this shit says, okay? Uh, But the first part I understand. Sounds like you're young uh, because you're talking about parents and adults and shit. So you're young, right? Uh... Have you ever seen a, a dog that's not a puppy anymore, but it's also not fully grown? Have you seen how fucking clumsy those dogs are? They bump into everything. We had a whippet who, they got really long legs and long bodies. He went from being tiny to being almost huge, but not fully grown. He looked fucking weird. He hadn't grown into his own body yet. He would walk into shit, bang his head on everything, trip over his own legs, the clumsiest cunt ever, right? That is you. And that was me. You have, your body has grown faster than your brain has kept up with, right? So you're just clumsy and awkward and weird. You don't know how to, you don't know how to drive your body yet. I went through this. I was, uh, I was very tall in year seven and then I stopped growing until I was like seven, 16 or 17. So I, there was like three or four years where I was kind of tall, not the tallest. And then when I hit 17, 
my spine just went, let's fucking go. And I went, I rocketed up. I was, my, my body was like SpaceX. Let's go to the fucking moon. Um, and, uh, I got so big, so quick. I, I forgot how to drive my body. Right. Uh, and I was clumsy. I looked weird. I had the same thing of you. I don't know how to hold my arms. I don't know how to do this, blah, blah, blah. And my answer is you just get used to it. Uh, doing physical activity also helped me heaps. When I started going to the gym and like strengthening my body and learning what my body could do and, and becoming confident and looking better, um, and, and becoming strong and seeing how powerful and amazing my body was, uh, that's when I started, you know, learning how to use it. Because I never really played sport. I did tennis when I was younger, but I never got into footy. I never got, I never played sport much. I did martial arts when I was younger, but then I kind of dropped off once I went into high school. Uh, and I never used my body until I found gym at like uh, uh, 17 or 18, like early 18, I think, is when I started really hitting the gym. 2012, that's when Ziz was huge. That's when I started going to gym, right? Uh, I was one of those guys. And uh, yeah, when I when I started learning how to use my body, I learned how to use my body. That's that's my advice to you is is one, you'll get used to it with time because you've obviously gone through gone through a growth spurt. You sound young, uh, and you just don't fit in your new body yet. Uh, and I would also recommend physical activity, whether it's running, whether it's sport, whether it's lifting weights, even just body weight push up shit. I used to do that all the time. Uh, learning how to use your body is learning how to use your body. You sit and you do nothing. You're in a fucking classroom. You sit on your ass for like six hours a day. Then you come home and you watch Netflix or play video games, whatever the fuck you do. Lord knows you're probably not going outside with all this Corona shit. You probably don't use your body that much. Think about how much you actually use your body for more than walking to and from class or to school. It's probably not that much. Uh, I would recommend to you sport, physical activity, martial arts, even if it's a solo sport, team-based. If you don't like team-based, do fucking martial arts. If you don't, if you're not good around people, just lift weights at the gym and figure out how to do it properly. Use the internet. Learn how to use your body. Make it better. Become stronger. It's uh, the best shit ever. Uh, that's what I recommend to you, man, and that's what will help you a lot. And and even even beyond like uh, teaching you how to use your body and making you more comfortable and familiar in it, it'll make you way, way, way more confident and you'll look better, which will make you more confident. And uh, then you won't be worrying how, where should I hold my arms when you're hanging, out, hanging around with people? You'll just be hanging around with people, not even thinking about it. That's the answer. No one thinks, oh, fuck, what should I do with my hands? That's when people start doing weird shit with their hands. You ever start breathing manually? How weird does that feel when you start breathing manually, not automatically? It's strange, right? I bet I bet everyone listening to the podcast is now going, oh yeah, you know, and then <sighs> exhale. It's weird. When you start doing automatic shit manually, you do it weird. Um, and that's what you're doing. You're thinking too much and you just need to become more confident in your body and to do that, you got to learn how to use it. Fucking go out there and use it. That's my advice. I will do one more. Um, where are we? I'm trying to find a good one. I've got a lot of emails here. I should have looked at this uh, beforehand. Um... My friends have lost all trust in me, even when I'm telling the truth. Hey, Lewis, uh, all my friends have turned on me because they were talking bullshit about one friend and I told them that they were. Now all my friends hate me and I lost all my good friends and currently feel like shit. Any advice on how they can gain my trust? I need your help. Also love the podcast. Keep it up. Okay, so there are two things, two possible scenarios. You've given me fucking no information. This is an example of a weird... I can't really give a good answer here because you've given me no information. You've told me what happened. You haven't given me any information or the circumstances. So it, two things have happened here. One, your friends were gossiping. You stood up for your mate and you stood up in a mean way and you went way too far and you were a fucking asshole. And that's probably the problem, is the way you handled it. That's one way that this could have gone. I don't know how it's gone, because you haven't fucking told me. But either they were talking shit, 
and you stood up to your friend in a mean way and were a cunt yourself, and while you technically did the right thing, you went about it the wrong way, went too far, and they all collectively went, whoa, fuck this guy, he's an asshole. We, we might have been fucking rude and shouldn't have been talking shit about this person, but that guy is insane. You've either done that, right? In which case, I would apologize and say, look, I'm sorry, I got really angry. I'm a really loyal friend and I care about this person and I just think you shouldn't have been talking about that guy. Uh, uh, I, I promise to never fucking go off at you like that again if you can promise to not talk bad about people that I love and then you can make up like that, right? That's scenario one where you're in the wrong. Scenario two is uh, those you didn't actually go too far. You said, hey, you probably shouldn't do that and they all turned on you. Option two... If you, di- if you honestly think you didn't go too far in standing up for your friend, uh, those people aren't your friends. Fuck them. If, if you're around a group of people who will alienate you for, for not being okay with them gossiping and talking shit about a person that you're friends with and presumably they are also friends with... They're bad people and you don't want to be friends with them because they're doing that shit to you when you're not in the group chat, for sure. Um, And that's what I would think. I would think that if if you fucking blown up a friendship with all of these cunts, right, and they've ditched you because you're defending this guy, no worries. You don't want to be friends with those people. Fuck them. They're bad people. They're not good people. And... You have a friend in this guy, so you're good. That's my advice to you. If you fucked up, and and be honest with yourself, because a lot of people don't have much self-awareness, and they go, oh, I do, I wasn't in the wrong. I just said that that Sam's mother is a whore, and I'm, and I'm glad she's dead. It was just a joke. No, you were a cunt, bro, okay? And accept that. Accept responsibility for it. Admit it. Apologize. And fix that shit. If you did that, that's on you, and you need to fix it, not them. If, however, you think you were reasonable in your actions you took to defend your friend and you didn't just go off at these people and were an, a malicious asshole, then uh, I think fuck those people if they don't like that. If, if someone is talking shit about your friend and they know you're friends with them and then you go, ah, I don't like that, I think you shouldn't do that, Then, and then they exile you, Fuck those people. You don't want to be friends with them. They're bad people. And you have your mate. You can go, yeah, dude, those guys are nuts. They were talking shit about you. I stood up for you and they fucking exiled me. They're cunts. And then he'll go, I know, right? Fuck them. You got a good friend. All right? That's my advice. That's where I'm going to end it here today. If you want to send an email into the podcast, send it to podcast at lewspears.com. L-E-W Spears, not Lewis, lewspears.com. Uh, check me out on Twitch. I stream every Monday and Wednesday, 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, Melbourne time. Figure it out for yourself. And if you want an extra episode every single week of this magnificent podcast, support me on Patreon. Join the Discord server. Support the movement. Become a soldier of Spears. And uh, I will talk to you in a couple of seconds. If you're a patron, I'm going to continue on here, do an extra episode, and uh, talk to you soon. All right. Otherwise, I'll talk to you next Sunday if you if you if you don't support what I do for you. Now, nah, all good. See ya.